Fantastic to see you all again, and welcome to another Photographer's Toolkit. Thanks for all the feedback on the last one. Today what we're gonna do is talk all about what is often thought of as really scary, which is cleaning your camera sensor. And I'm gonna tell you different ways that you can look at Ha, ha, whether it needs cleaning and then two different techniques for cleaning the sensor one that could just get rid of most things that you can use sort of 95% of the time and one which when you really have to using a wet cleaning method with swabs is super easy nothing to worry about so let's go and have a look So the first thing to think about is actually, when you've got the lens on, check in whether you've got any dust on your sensor or anything else on your sensor that you need to clean because it's going to start to impact on your photos and you don't want to have to go and de-spot them all. So there's a really, really simple way of doing this. And what I do is use my monitor and take a photo of a white screen on my monitor. And by doing that, then you can see the dust spot. So I'll go through the settings to do that and show you how easy it is. So first of all, just get a white screen up. Um, so I'm just gonna use notes here. Um, so this is a, a white screen that's covering the monitor. And then all I'm gonna do is have it on around about 28 millimeters, um, switch it on. Have it on ISO 64, the lowest ISO. Um, anything between ISO 64 and probably three or 400 is okay. And then you want to go up to um, F22. So you want to have the most depth of field to be able to actually see these spots. So F22, and if you've probably used a wide angle lens and you've tried to get everything in focus, that's when you most like to see the spots in the sky. So set it on F22, ISO 64, and then in manual, what you're going to do is you're just going to set the speed and look at pointing it at the screen so that the histogram is just a little bit off the right hand side so you want it around about 10 to 15 percent gray really so that's okay and then i want to change the focus so it's affinity so i don't want anything to be in focus on the screen and then all i'm going to do is i'm going to take a photo of this screen and when i do that i'm going to move the camera so it seems really odd, you can take a few. And, and basically, if you imagine it, as you're moving the camera, you're moving the dust with it, so it doesn't matter, that's still gonna be in focus. So once we're in Lightroom, there's a super clever trick that my friend Rick told me about. Thanks a lot for that, Rick. And it is that you go to the clone brush here, and then down at the left-hand side, there's this thing called Visualize Spots. And if you click it, and you can, you can change the sensitivity here, and you can see that if I move it right up to the top, then I can see all the spots on my sensor. So, you know, some of these are probably just gonna be dust spots that'll come off with the easy technique that I'm gonna show you. Some of them are gonna be more difficult to remove, like that one down there, which looks like, I don't know what. So that's probably a bit of oil or something or grease, and that might be a little bit more difficult to come off, and that's gonna need um, the, the sensor swab. So once I've done that, the other thing to remember in your camera that all the things at the bottom of this image are at the top of the sensor and all the things at the top of the image are at the bottom of the sensor. So when you're actually looking at it and you're trying to find one of those spots, if there's a big one, then it just inverses. So just remember that as well. Okay, so once we've done that, we'll, we'll take the lens off now and we can have a look at the sensor and look at a, a few tricks for cleaning it. Okay, so I've got the lens off now and the sensor is is showing so you, you probably don't want to take it off for that long you know the, the best way to protect your sensor from getting dust is when you're changing your lenses do it in a fairly dust free environment obviously you can't always do that when you're out on a shoot but try and shelter yourself from the wind and probably don't leave it off for a long time when you're doing this sort of thing but obviously I'm doing this as a demo, so it's gonna be off for a bit, a bit longer. The other thing is, that I've got my studio lights here, which are creating some really good light on, onto this, and that sort of side light helps me see the spots as well. So that's good, um, but you want a good good quality light on it. So once I've got the lens off, then I can just have a look around and see, and, and I can see some of those dust spots already. Now, you can, 
if you want, use a, a blower like this. Now what you don't want to do is use a blower like this because the, the propellant in this, um, the butane propane or whatever it is, is, is going to damage your sensor and, and just create loads of issues. So do not use one of these on your sensor. I've seen online that people have used these. It's just not a good idea. You're better if you're going to blow any air on it using something like this and making sure that this is clean. Um, and, and the way to do that is just turn your sensor up, dead, upside down and blow the air. But what I like to do before I do that is just use a sensor brush like this. So this sensor brush uh, um, is, is specifically made, it's made of nylon. And what you can do is if you just get um, the, the air and just blow it like that, if you can see that there, I'm just blowing air on that and that, what that does is it creates static on this brush and then all I have to do then is just um, if I just brush I'm going to do it upside down because it's just a better idea to do it upside down so you probably can't see it very well but I'm just going to brush anything away from the sensor and I'm not too bothered about pressing on the sensor that's okay and then I'll just have a look at it again and in most circumstances that removes enough dust so you can then put your lens back on we can then take another photo and here's the next photo so what we do is we go up here to the clone tool and then click visualize spots and you can see these are the spots so it's a lot less if I look at one before that's the one before and that's the one now so I've reduced the number of spots on my sensor but I've still got some spots that I want to remove and especially this area here which is um, going to be really troublesome now probably what I would normally do is go over with my brush again and I could reduce those down maybe a little bit further but what I'm going to do now is show how you can clean it with the actual swabs um, using a wet clean so we'll go into that and then we can take another picture and have a look at how that has changed it so what I need to do is take my lens off and then we can get some swabs okay so before I get the sensor swabs out um, we've got the lens off here um, and we've done the other things now if you've got a um, mirror camera rather than the mirrorless camera then you're going to want to lock your mirror up and you can do that in your menu now the main thing to be careful of with the sensor, the thing you need to worry about is if you've got stabilization that you don't want to put too much pressure on it um, because that's quite delicate. Now in some, then it might lock down, but um, and in some cameras you can lock the stabilization to be able to clean the sensor. So look at your manual and it's totally up to you, you this. I, I bear no responsibility for anybody that damages anything, but you know, trust me, it's it's something that lots of people do and it's really, really easy to do. And the other thing to remember is that on the front of the sensor, then there is glass. It's not like, um, it, 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 it's just not the sensor itself. There's a glass protective layer on, front of, on the front of it and that's what you're cleaning. So what you need is you need sensor cleaning um, fluid and a sensor swab. So this is a kit that I got off Amazon. Um, there are lots of kits. I've put the links to all, all this um, in the description below. So the sensor brush um, and the sensor cleaning fluid, but there's lots, just get a good quality one. So what you wanna do is have a sensor that's for the size of your sensor. So this is a full frame sensor swab. If you've got um, a micro four thirds or an APS-C, then you need to get the, the appropriate one. Um, so I'm going to open that now and you've got to be super careful. You don't want to touch this swab at all. So I'm just going to open that. And then all you need to do is put just a few drops on the end of the sensor there. So I'm going to put one, two, three. So once I've got those on, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do two strokes, one in this direction, one in the other direction. So I'm just going to go from the end of the sensor here, stroke it in that direction, and then go back in the other direction. I'm putting a little bit of force, but not too much. And it's simple as that. So we'll take another photo and we'll see what that looks like.
Okay, I put my lens back on because I didn't want to leave my sensor unprotected and I've just taken a photo of the white screen and I'll, I'll show you the, the before and after now. So this was the first image um, that I took. Um, then we had this one here where we'd reduced it due to the brushing and now we've got this one after the sensor swab. So you can see there's still a couple of dust spots. Um, so I might give it another go. I don't tend to often have to give it more than one go, but I've not cleaned my sensor for a while now. So it might need another go, but you can see there's only probably one, two, three of any significance and it's significantly better than what it was here. And I've got rid of that mark down, down there on, on the bottom, but which, which is the top of the sensor. It's super easy to do. You saw how easy it was to do. It just literally takes a minute to do. You shouldn't be worried about it. And it can save you a lot of time afterwards in Lightroom, just cloning out all those spots and make your, your photos really clean. So once again, the links to the equipment that I used is down in the description. I'm not sponsored by any of these, so you buy whatever you want, um, but just get a good quality one. Um, I purchased these ones because I've used them before and they've always you know, been really good for me. And the other thing I want to mention is that keeping your sensor clean is a lot about what you do in the field as well. And I'm going to do another video in the Photographer's Toolkit about that. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. And I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.